The Actions pane located on the side of the screen contains shortcuts for jumping to other parts of the software and for performing specific user-defined functions. For instance, if I'm working on an inspection in the Report Writer and want to switch to Office Management to book a new job, I can easily do so by clicking the Office Management action, do what I need to in Office Management, and then simply click the Report Writer action to return to where I left off. I can just click the respective action under Finalize Inspection to add a summary document to my report. But did you know that you can create your own custom actions? Various types of single-click actions that you might include common tasks such as attaching a new word processor document to your inspection, attaching a file to your inspection such as a PDF, inserting a commonly used image or string of frequently used text, you can even create an action to launch a commonly used program. Let's see how you can create an action to memorize a screen configuration you like to use for a certain task. First, we'll arrange our screen panes in the report writer as desired. Settings that may be saved for recall include the size of your main inspection field. Let's make that smaller. The size of the lower pane and its active tab. Let's change that to display the current line and perhaps make it a bit larger. Whether the narrative menu is on or off, for instance, I could turn it on or off. Let's leave it on in this case. And whether the list view is on or off. Let's suppose I like to review my finished inspection with a configuration as I have it now. Once we have our screen arranged as desired, we can tap Customize My Actions at the bottom of the Actions pane. Other options here are available to customize the location and organization of existing action, but in this case, we'll use the option to Add an Action. For the name of my action, I'm going to call it Review Report and we'll choose Next. We may choose an existing category for our action or choose no category for it to appear as a main item, which we'll do here, and then click Next. For type of action, I'm going to choose a report writer action of Memorize Screen Configuration. When I select this, the description at the bottom explains what this type of action is. It says, this action memorizes your current screen settings in the report writer. You can then click the action to quickly recall that configuration while writing an inspection. We will choose Next. Other action types may have additional prompts in the wizard for their settings depending on the kind of action. In this case, I click Finish, and the new action appears here at the bottom of our list. Now I already have a couple memorized screen actions higher up and I'd like to locate this one in the same place. So I will use the arrows to move it upward to join the other items where I want it. Now we simply click Save to update our Actions pane and you see our new action is now present. So now, whenever I want my screen instantly changed to the formatting that's been previously memorized for each of these actions, I can simply click the desired action. For example, I can switch from my inspection mode, photo mode, and my new review report mode. Now that you have the basics of creating a new action, you may experiment with creating some of your own actions.